So what I'm going to show you today is how to actually load the configuration file into your Fly Mentor. By now you've installed the Fly Mentor, you've connected it up correctly, you've installed the software on your PC with the driver. In fact, it's a, it's a self-running file, there's no actual software to be installed. And you'll notice as soon as I start the software called Helibel, the scan will attempt to find the unit, come up with the connecting and tell you there is no device. The Fly Mentor will not connect until you've actually powered up. So I'm going to go ahead, power up the tricopter now so the fly mentor gets power. And you'll see it actually picks up the device extremely quickly. Right? At this stage, what we need to do is actually load the file from the PC that we have. You can do nothing with the software until you're actually connected to a device. So I'm going to load from here. I'm going to point to a particular folder that I've been working on earlier. V basic v01 is the file I'm going to load. So pushing that and open will load it to the Fly Mentor. It will tell you the configuration is correct and it's imported. Notice the exclamation mark here. That will tell you that the file in the Fly Mentor or the config in the Fly Mentor is different to that on the PC. So the next thing we're going to do after, if you want, you can go along and have a look at all the different settings. These are things you can play with at your leisure as you become more and more competent with this device. They are pretty complex. You'll find lots on the web. Is We're going to save the, the file I've just loaded. Just to make sure I haven't ruined anything, I'll pick up basic v01 again. I'm going to open the file. It's imported correctly, and I'm going to save it to the device. You'll see the progress bar down here. As soon as it's loaded, the exclamation mark up there will disappear, which means that the configuration in the config file and the device are the same. So that's all there is to loading the Fly Mentor. You can now disconnect power from your machine, your tricopter. You'll see no device found. Close the software, unplug the USB cable, and go give it a go. You'll find you're dealing with a different machine altogether. Of course, for obvious reasons, my transmitter is on, and uh, I'm now going to power on, apply power. You'll hear the motors do their normal initialization. You'll see the Fly Mentor LED is flashing red. And as soon as it starts to flash green, either fast or solid, read the manual. I am not the manual for the Fly Mentor. It means it's initialized. If it cannot get a lock on its gyros, or you've initialized it at some crazy upside-down angle, I always place my try on a flat and level surface when I initialize. It's worth taking the extra time. The Fly Mentor is now activated and beware, a red LED means you don't have what you need and in the case of this try and this config that'll mean no elevator. And you can take off but you may find yourself in a very 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 difficult position trying to get back down when the Fly Mentor has not been correctly initialized. So there you have it, the fly mentor is initialized. You'll see the board is not yet on because the back LED is on, not on. Uh, now I can go ahead and arm and actually fly. And all of the fly mentor's characteristics like self-leveling uh, come into play and make the tricopter a whole lot easier to fly. One more key point, folks, it may seem a statement of the obvious. If you don't notice an enormous change between the basic tricopter without the fly mentor and one with, it means that you haven't loaded the software to the module correctly. I fell for that because I just didn't do something right to begin with and I thought this doesn't really make it a lot easier at all. Uh, I then figured out that the software was not loaded, loaded the software and the difference is remarkable. The auto correction is, is outstanding. You find you let go the sticks, the trial will self-level and it will uh, protect you from yourself. So, simple statement the obvious, if it isn't a big change from the base machine then it's time to check whether you loaded the software. And good luck with experimenting with those parameters. There's lots of them, and there's a ton of things on the web that people can tell you what they've done and how they've done it to do with helicopters and all sorts of other devices. Thanks for watching.